Hi, this continued from the previous half of the video. So to his false assumptions used. So let me just back it up a little wee bit here. Where I said, and I personally re and I personally refuse to his false assumptions use. As if we owed them a case? Why? So that they can save face? No way. Let's put you on trial for the way you minds defile with your obvious fallacies which even a child sees. And when I say you, I mean sun worshippers. And if you're a globe believer, you might say, oh, well, I'm not a sun worshipper. Well, what's the name of the first day of the week? Anyway, next verse. When they're given the slightest chance to even give the facts a glance. But one question I recall, by no means, I'll answer them all. But you asked about the sun and the moon which overhead run. How do they not just... fall down? Well, how does a fish not drown? The answer, in either case, is they simply know their place. The lights in the firmament every day are forth for us sent. And it is a thing of beauty to behold them do their duty. They don't God of glory rob. They just up and do their job. And it's not their job to fall. You this talk may crazy call, but you're, actual, but you're actually loopy and presumptuously snoopy. Just a quick caveat, though. You, the guy who asked these 20 questions, flat earthers supposedly can't answer. answer. Certainly not, not the only one to ask that question. Because a good friend of mine, he asked me the same question. And friend, if you're listening, it's up to you what you're going to believe and think. Uh, but I would encourage you to rethink this whole notion that God doesn't exist. That's all based on the globe which is now obviously false. So I wouldn't go there if I were you. Am I going to call go calling you presumptuously Snoopy? Well, um, not as much as this guy who actually put out a video challenging us flat earthers. If he wants to put out challenges like that and ask a question like that, him I will call presumptuously Snoopy. And the one friend that I've dialogued over this over the years, I hope you can be convinced. But... I'm going to leave you with that and just pray that God will uh, touch your heart in such a way that it makes sense. And of course, I don't want your family to get lied to. Anyway, next verse. After all, you think you can, being a mere mortal man, such inside knowledge demand while upon this earth you stand. Well, I frankly ask, who cares and presume on God thus dares? as if he did not exist and did not do well to insist that we simply him believe and such lofty matters to him leave. After all, in this my home, that the lights are here, I've known, but it doesn't at all me irk that I don't know. How they work. Other than the hall downstairs, even so, they work. Who cares? See, I'm not an electrician, but I've sure made my decision to just use the lights and live. And likewise, I God glory give. He's the one that this world made. Be fruitful, multiply us, bade. Well, that, what part of that don't we like? Let's not so silly be. I will definitely do what he said. Enjoy it too. And I won't overanalyze all those lights. There's a light, there's a light, there's a light. So and I, so again, and I won't overanalyze all those lights up in the sky. Sun. Gives light on the earth. Any questions? Nor will I.
play right along with your game because it's wrong. God does not owe you that info, and it really is that simple. And just in case you it missed, I am not a secularist, nor is clouded up my vision by worshipping scientism. So I don't accept your rules as the serpent this world fools, but repent, wake up, and join in this fight Gird up your loins. After all, again, that elephant, he's been found. Game over. Irrelevant. Is that what you want to be? Well, then, listen, please, to me. Step outside, look up, and see. And be... So... So let's just quickly do this here. So again, well then, listen please to me. Step outside, look up and see. And behold, the soothing hue of the heavens. No other, no other blue, because the sun came up on cue. In my opinion, because that sunshine through water does. Not that I have ever been but I sure have ripples seen passing through the moon at night when it's out. And shining bright, speaking by the way of which, shines because God, shines because God does it on switch. And by the way, Like this. And like this. And like this. And now that I've figured out how these finicky little light switches work, even like this. And then, of course, at night, the lights get switched off, don't they? In their own way, of course. They really run away. And according to the Book of Enoch, they even go into their respective gates. And then the next day they come out of their respective gates. You can check out the Book of Enoch if you really want um, some of that information. So there we go. Um, just like yet again, any light, I'm about call it a night, I wrote last night, but God knows how you define those. There's no need to keep being blind. Just let down of doubt the guard fighting against him. Sorry, fighting against him. Oh, so hard. Let us look to him be saved who his son to save us gave. And again, here's my little back of an envelope where I decided, let's try this again. Let's say the moon was, uh, so they, they tell us that the moon is 2,000 miles in diameter, so you shrink that down to a 16th of an inch. And by the way, as I wrote there, that would be a dirty moon, because you remember how they presumed to have gone to the moon, and they were running around and driving around on dirt? That makes the moon dirty. So then, 238,000 miles away, is the supposed Earth supposed to be 8,000 miles in diameter? And last night I went for a little walk. I think I'll do it again because now there's actual daylight because it was pretty dark last night. I want to show you what I was doing last night during the day. And so let's put these on the window here, okay? 
can't see that too well, can you? But again, you 2,000 mile diameter, dirty moon, Earth, Mars would be 11.72 arms away, an arm is 32 inches, and one of my steps equals approximately 32 inches. So somewhere out there is going to be by 90.82 arms away. And uh, I'm going to head on up there and see what it looks like. We'll see you outside.